Hello friends, today we see new topic in applied thermodynamics. First of all, I introduce you myself Gaurav Jagdish Patak and we are presenting the video lectures according to subject thermodynamics and today we see on the topic psychometric properties. Now, friends, what are the psychometric and what are the different properties of psychometry you can see in this topic. Generally, psychometry and thermal engineering are very conscious and related term with each other. We, we all of you very know that heat extraction is nothing but the cooling of particular space and heat addition is making the energy useful for energy for the particular purpose. In IC engine we added the heat energy and give this heat energy power to run or to move the engine while as in refrigeration we extract the heat from the particular engine or particular space and cool that space as up to the required temperature. To achieve particular purpose of cooling, we have to know the various behavior of the air at the different temperature and the psychometry is exactly study of that particular thing. Psychometry is actually the science which deals with the physical laws of air and water vapor. Also, it also deals with water vapor air mixture and how the behaviors and how they are changing phase and at what temperature air changes the phases. That is the study of psychometry. While designing an air conditioning system, the temperature and moisture content of the air is to be conditioned or is to be controlled and at the same properties of air is to be needed and to produce the desired air conditioning effect. As we, as we say already that to extract the heat from the particular space is nothing but the cooling of space and conditioning means to at the control level of that particular air is called psychometric study. In other words, we can say psychometry is the study of moist air. What do you mean by moisture? That is the air, air water vapor present in the air. That is called moisture. Now, what exactly points to be technical points to be studied in properties, terms of properties in psychometry? We can see one by one what they are dew point temperature, relative humidity, humidity ratio, dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, specific humidity, absolute humidity and psychometric ratio. We see these properties one by one and elaborating in front of you point wise. Now first point is dew point temperature. It can be defined as the temperature at which the moisture starts to condense out of air. Co to condense means it will just starting to convert its phase from, from solid state to liquid state. If uh, for getting an exact idea, Zarapane Khada Barfasa Tukda एखाद्या ग्लासमध्ये ठेवला आणि काही वेळानंतर ग्लास स्टीलचा असेल तर ग्लासच्या अवतीभोवती आपल्याला पाण्याचे बिंदू दिसतील दॅट इज कंडेन्सेशन ऑफ आईस नाव कंडेन्सेशन स्टार्टेड एक्झॅक्टली ऑन दॅट टेम्परेचर इट इज कॉल्ड द ड्यू पॉईंट टेम्परेचर ऑफ दॅट पर्टिक्युलर सॉलिड स्टेट वॉटर Dew point is also known as saturation temperature and dew point temperature is determined by 
moving from straight point horizontally to left along line's constant humidity ratio unit upper curve and saturation temperature boundary is reached so friends all the properties we seen step by step they are plotted on the chart and represented graphically and this total graph chart we can see in the next topic that is psychometry chart it is the representation of various properties of psychometry so first we study various properties and then we study the psychometry chart so first point is dew point temperature it is the starting of water uh, solid water vapors into the condensation it is the starting point of condensation point of water now dew point what do you mean by dew point it is the condensation occur at the dew point temperature condensation starting point is nothing but dew point now second point is relative humidity relative humidity it is the amount of moisture it is the ratio actually it is the am- ratio of amount of moisture that is given amount of air holding it and amount of moisture that gives the amount of air and it can be hold and next property is humidity ratio it is the actual weight of water in the air as water particles present in the air have contained some water mass and weight and the humidity ratio it is the actual weight of water and air that water vapor mixture also amount of moisture per unit of dry air and it can be defined as mass per gram now what is dry bulb temperature the dry bulb temperature is the temperature indicated by the thermometer general thermometer that we can use for measurement of temperature and exposed to the air in the place sheltered from direct solar radiation means at the room temperature that means the term dry bulb is added to the temperature to the distinguish from wet bulb and dew point temperature now what do you mean by wet bulb temperature wet bulb temperature is the temperature recorded by the thermometer when the bulb is enveloped by the cotton wick saturated with the water now if we have to take wet bulb temperature we have to cover or envelops the thermometer with the weighted cloth that means it should be totally merge into water the accuracy of simple wet bulb temperature depends upon how fast air passes over the bulb and how well the thermo the thermometer is shielded from the radiant of temperature of surrounding these are the types of some thermometers in front of your screen you can see to measure the dry bulb temperature thermometer is shown on upper side and for measurement of degree in fahrenheit that we can see in fahrenheit and in degree celsius we can measure the temperature so this is covered with the cloth which is rounded at the bottom which is shown in front of your screen at the lower side of figure that is covered with the weighted cloth shielding the bulb which is covered with the weighted cloth this kind of this kind of thermometer is used for measurement of wet bulb temperature now very important aspect or very important property is humidity friends humidity is basically divided into two parts specific humidity and absolute humidity now specific humidity is defined as the proportion of mass of water vapor per unit mass of the moist air that the sample under consideration and 
it is closely related to humidity ratio now what is absolute humidity the mass of water vapor per unit volume of air containing the water vapor and this quantity is also known as the water vapor density these are the definitions and they are easily understood us by reading that the specific humidity is defined as the proportion of mass of water vapor how much water particles or water vapor present into that particular air that sample we are taken into consideration and what is absolute humidity that the mass of water vapor per unit volume of the air per unit volume means how much area of we have considered volume for that particular action to measure the absolute humidity now there are different ratios are there for the psychometric ratio and it is the ratio of heat transfer coefficient that is continuous process and the different ratios are taken from that particular point these ratios of heat weighted surface and may be evaluated with the equation tau is equal to ht by kr and cr so friends these these all are psychometric properties and psychometric ratios psychometric processes now by representing this process on graphically on the chart we can see this process in the next topic thank you thank you very much